<laughs> oh, you, you started without me. Oh, I did, yes. Oh, and you're, you're sitting at my desk. I am. Um, but, but where is Sharon? Uh, I am, uh, I kicked her out. Well, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? My name is Jonathan Hazan from the band Comb, and I have a problem I want to share with you. I wrote this song called Parallax. In this song, there's a section that has some time signature changes. I'll show you. It's a classic A, B, A, C thing that has a bar of 8, then a bar of 6, a bar of 8, and a bar of 9. These are all 16th notes, by the way. Now let's see. Where does he keep all his stupid instruments? Mm. Ah, here. Ma? Uh, what? Oh, okay. What the hell? Uh, Finally. Anyway, here it is. Great. Now I need to write a drum part. So I thought about something like this. I'll use kick, snare and hi-hat, of course. Kick will be this, snare will be this, and hi-hat will be this. This is the riff. So the kick and the snares will outline the melody of the guitar, and the hi-hats will play uh, 16th notes, I guess? I mean, the sequence totals at 31 beats. The time signature changes every bar, and 16th notes are the common division, so yeah. See now, here's the problem. This part intended to be the calmer, more relaxed section in the song, and it currently sounds pretty hectic. Oh, uh, great, you're back. Of course I'm back, I live here, what the hell, man? Uh, stock, stock, I need your help. Uh, listen to this. What do you think? Uh, that hi-hat might give me a mild panic attack, but okay. Exactly. So my problem is that this is the softer part of the song, and it doesn't feel this way yet. Also, this song has this concept of shifting perspectives, which you obviously understood from the title. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, of, of course I got it. But uh, let's, let's say I didn't. Um, explain it as if I didn't. Oh, okay, so the parallax effect basically describes how depth affects your perception of movement. Okay, sure. Do you have that in English as well? Oh, sure. So, you know how when you drive a car, the streetlights go by very fast, while, let's say, a mountain in the distance seems to not even move? So that. And this section, even though it moves between time signatures, it's still missing that perception shift. Okay, gotcha. I think I have an idea. This is actually a great foundation to work over, having all these time signatures. If Jonathan wants me to highlight this shift concept, all I have to do is change the way you as a listener perceive the riff. Out of the three main roles in a drum groove, so kick, snare and hi-hat, or low, mid and high, the hi-hat is the one in charge of how fast time goes by, kind of. So let's say this is our groove. A faster hi-hat pattern will make the time seem more forward, faster and denser. And a slower hi-hat pattern will do the opposite. It'll sound more laid back, slower and steadier. So maybe we can play with something like that? Yeah, that's fine, but this part has 31 beats, so a bigger subdivision value won't resolve on beat 1. 
Sure, sure, but it doesn't repeat only once, right? I mean, if we take these hi-hats one note value slower and make them eighth notes, it will resolve, but after two repeats of the whole thing. Check this out. Oh, cool. Well, this actually repeats eight times, so we can just do this, right? The slower, the better. Um, let's try. I, I don't know. Let's try. Eh, nah, maybe not. It's way too slow and the riff is way too dominant. The Hyatt's perspective is too weak, you can barely feel it. Okay, so let's undo one step and set it on quarter notes. Oh, uh, oh no, oh no, uh, uh, what's going on? Did I break it? Oh boy, such a noob. Give me, give me. Yara, let's try this one. Huh, this one seems to work. Yep, it does. And just to put the cherry on top, let's adjust the drum sounds a bit. I'll play the open hi-hat with my foot, which would give it a less punchy, more subtle feel. So instead of having this, we'll have this. And I'll drop the snares off just to make the snare sound deeper and less harsh. Sounds good? Check it out. What do you think? Sounds great. I really like how the sparse hi-hats highlight different parts of the riff each time. It's like your melodic experience of it changes with each round. Also, you've managed to support the song's core concept of motion parallax by adding a steady viewpoint to an odd, complex pattern. Yala, that's it for today. Don't forget to follow Calm on YouTube, Spotify, and Instagram. Smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell as well so you get notified every time I post something. Ma, you're still here? This is my channel, man. What? God damn it. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Can I at least draw the smiley? Ma, was that terrible handwriting of yours? No letters, just a smiley. No, Sadar, you win some, you lose some.